My name is Joseph Sekandi. I come from Uganda and I'm a senior lecturer of Extension and Range Management. So my session was on pitching and the art of public speaking. Now we spent a whole week training students on how to develop proposals, how they can develop business plans. My job was how do I help them develop skills to convince entrepreneurs, to convince investors, to convince people who are going to give them money, but also those who are going to buy their products. So the session was very interactive and it helped because people already knew what to do, they knew what they were doing, and we focused on very small soft skills on what to do. For example, how do you portray yourself? How do you prepare your slides? Whether you're going to use slides or notes, we helped them to prepare notes, but also very importantly, before you come to present, ensure what the things you need to pay attention to. We taught them how to capture the imagination of the people they are presenting to. What I see, the key results out of this, is our students have been able to pitch their businesses to an external audience, people they have not seen before, people they have uh, met for the first time, and they have presented this with confidence. What we realized is actually that now they are very knowledgeable. They know exactly what to do, and now we have added something extra. They also know how to disseminate, how to transmit what they know to the external audience. I came in as a professor in the summer school. When I arrived, I decided to be a learner, and I've gone back as both. It's my first time to be in Morocco, and the child, when we went outside, I've been amazed by the attention to details that agricultural entrepreneurs have to their products. We met a lady who has worked with the value chain in cheese and different milk products. For me, these are very new lessons to me on the attention to details that an agricultural entrepreneur should have. I had learned about these things, I had a lot of knowledge about these things, but during this summer school, for me that has left a very big impression on, on me. For the very first time in my life, we've had a, a first integration between the North Africa and the other part of Africa where I come from. And I think this can open up uh, the continent for me much more than it was. First time in North Africa, first time in Morocco specifically, but I hope it is not going to be the last and it won't.